The Wild Wilderness drive through Safari and Gentry set to reopen after being shut down for violating the Animal Welfare Act. Fox 24's Corsa Bustamante in studio with how the facility is responding to the claims of animal mistreatment. Clarissa? The Wild Wilderness drive through Safari was hit with a $75,000 fine after the USDA filed a complaint against the zoo's treatment of its animals. According to the zoo, it's been fighting the claims for a while, but decided to pay the settlement before it got more expensive. The USDA filed the complaint at the beginning of 2017 for violations that happened between 2012 and 2016. Charles Wilmoth, the manager of the Wild Wilderness drive through Safari, says one of the violations had to do with inadequate vet care. Wilma says his team was giving proper care to the animals, but weren't documenting everything. Looking forward, they are documenting every detail of their care, as well as improving some of their winter protocols. They're also adding things like adequate shade to some of their enclosures. We've hired more staff. We have more volunteers and more people working for us so we can just make sure everything's covered. The safari has passed recent inspections and plans to reopen tomorrow after being closed for two months. In studio, Clarice Bustamante, Fox 24 News.